When a gun is pointed at you, dodge left while you simultaneously grab the gun with your right hand, placing your thumb on the hammer, which prevents him from firing the gun. By evading to the left, you move yourself out of the gun's line of fire. At this time, you can quickly twist the gun up in a counterclockwise direction while advancing with your right foot. Your left foot crosses behind while you pivot your body into your opponent, grabbing their wrist and taking the gun out of his hands. Their arm is now twisted and immobilized by your body. At this time, you can decide to keep the gun or toss it away. If you toss the gun away, then press both of your thumbs into the back of his hand, just below his ring finger. This is the pressure point that will allow you to better control your opponent. Just using both thumbs is not enough. If your opponent is very strong, he may still be able to resist. So in addition to the pressure on the wrist, you press your side against their forearm while you twist their wrist towards the ground. Now that he is on the ground, do not let go, but keep the pressure on the back of the wrist while you change your grip. At the same time, your right hand should control their elbow. Press their elbow into their ear as you pin their wrist to the ground. Press your right knee down onto the opponent's side for extra control. Their exposed ribs are very vulnerable and they will not be able to escape from your hold. If someone points a gun at you, you can also dodge right, grabbing the gun with your left hand. With your right hand, grab their elbow. Pull their elbow down and back towards you while you push their hand towards them to their left. Now simultaneously push their elbow up and over while you pull the gun down. Now you can pull your opponent down to the ground and take the gun away from them. For this technique, evade to your right, while you grab your opponent's arm with both hands. Or you can strike with two hands. With your left hand, grab his wrist while you strike towards you behind his elbow with your right. Twist his arm clockwise with your left and push while you pull simultaneously with your right. This will pin your opponent to the ground into this position. Now reach behind his elbow with your right and pull up while you push down with your left and pin their left arm to his chest with your knee. When someone points a gun at you, another technique is to step left and grab as in gun disarm one, making sure you control the gun's hammer so that it cannot fire.
Twist the gun up and counterclockwise. Step right and strike him. At this time, if you apply pressure to their wrist, they will drop the gun. With your right hand, pull their neck down and clockwise while pushing their hand up. Move clockwise as you do this and bring them to the ground. Keep twisting them and push them until they are locked. You control them with the pressure on the wrist. Switch hands on their wrist. Their other arm is still free, so pin their arm to the ground with your free hand while applying pressure to their rib cage with your knee. By pinning their arm, twisting their wrist, and pressing down on them, there is nothing they can do to escape. Here is a variation on Gun Disarm 6. After striking your opponent in the neck, grab their shoulder and use your elbow to strike him in the chin. Now step back and pull their shoulder down and back while keeping pressure on the wrist. Once your opponent is on the ground, you can restrain him, pinning their elbow to the ground. Or you can twist their wrist into a wrist lock while pinning their chest to the ground with your knee. Your opponent's other arm is still free to strike at you. If they try to hit you with their free hand, you can apply pressure to their wrist. And the pain will render their attack useless. Striking your opponent in the chin causes him to lose his bearings and makes it easier for you to take him to the ground. Follow the basic setup for Gun Disarm 7. After disarming the gun and striking him with your elbow, push his chin up with your elbow. This will cause his whole body to rise. Your opponent will want to come down, so oblige him by pushing him to the ground while maintaining pressure on his wrist. At this point, you can lock his arm, you can break his arm, or you can just leave him on the ground. Here is another variation on Gun Disarm 6. After striking him in the neck, bring your hand back fast into their arm. This will cause him to drop the gun. Now change your grip on their wrist as you pin his forearm with your right arm. Grab your own wrist with your right hand and twist both hands down. This will bring your opponent to the ground. At this point he is immobilized. You apply pressure by pulling his wrist towards you with your left hand while twisting his arm with your right arm. Press your knee down on his chest for extra control.
Here is a variation of gun disarm 4. When you evade left, grab the gun from underneath and push it up. Your opponent will counter by trying to push the gun back down. When they do, twist the gun counterclockwise and down so that the gun points towards them. Grab their wrist with your left, keeping your thumb on their pressure point, and then pull down and back, taking your opponent to the ground. This is an excellent technique because it is both simple and effective. Now I will do it a little faster. Go up, twist and down. Now you can take the gun away and do whatever you want. For this technique, you're going to step right and grab with your left. Grab the shoulder with your right and move your right leg behind their left while you push them down to the right. Make sure when you take them down, his gun is not pointed at you, but away. Twist his wrist while you push his elbow forward with your right hand. Press your knee down on his chest to immobilize him. If you apply enough pressure with your right, you can break his arm. Now you can do many things, like mounting your opponent and applying a different arm bar. There are many variations you can do from gun disarm 1 or gun disarm 2's basic setup. Step left and grab. Step around to the left as you twist the gun clockwise. Roll your forearm up their elbow as you twist the gun controlling your opponent to the ground. Twist their wrist with your right hand and take away the gun. Now you can do anything. You can hit them in the back of the head. But make sure your opponent is controlled by placing your knee into the small of their back. Your control point is with the twisting of their wrist. There are many different techniques that evolve out of gun disarm one's dodge and grab setup. For example, after you step and grab their gun, continue with gun defense one through to this point. After taking the gun away, if you don't toss it, you can press your arm down on their elbow joint and wrap your arm up to their chest. At this point, you can take him to the ground, and their arm is completely locked. Now you can take the gun in your other hand. If you apply pressure at this point, you can break the opponent's arm. You can also, as you step left, grab the gun from underneath and push up. As you step right, twist the gun counterclockwise. Continue to twist the gun as you bring it down towards the ground. This will take your opponent down as well. At this point, you can take the gun away and finish the lock as before. When an opponent punches at you with his right hand, first evade to the left while you block with your right hand. Pull back and grab his arm 
with your right. Step forward with your right as you twist his arm up and counterclockwise. Grab his arm with your left and continue twisting his arm until it is down by his side. It doesn't matter if his arm is at your waist or your leg or your chest. They're all fine. At this point, move forward at a 45 degree angle while you press down with your body. This will take your opponent down to the ground. This technique is simple and easy to learn. The most important part of this technique is when you first grab the arm. So when you are practicing, you need to get this movement down. If your opponent wants to attack you with his left, that's fine too. Step right and grab his wrist and wrap your right arm around his arm to grab his shoulder. Your left hand now comes up and joins your right on his shoulder. Now you pull down towards you, throwing your opponent to the ground. Using the same setup as Punch Counterattack 2, go down and around, but lift your opponent up with pressure on his arm. Now at the same time, you will twist his arm with your left hand while you apply downward pressure on his shoulder with your right. When your opponent is locked like this, there is nothing he can do. With your left hand, Keep twisting the wrist while you press down on the shoulder. We'll give his left arm a break after this technique and go back to working his right arm because these techniques are painful. When your opponent punches with his left, move to your right and grab his fist with your left. Now at this point, you can either break his arm or roll it up and down like this. For now, let's roll it, up and down, and pressing down, taking him down to the ground. At this point, I change my grip and lock his wrist down. The end of this technique is very versatile. You don't have to lock his wrist. You can also lock other parts of his arm. Let me demonstrate.
Now you see, I did not lock his wrist. You can bend his arm back like this in and lock it behind his back. I will now use a cross hands technique, where your hands form an X, or a cross. When your opponent punches, step left and catch their punch with a cross hands block. Now bring his arm down and around and up. When his arm is horizontal to the shoulder and the floor, sweep his back leg out from under him. Take him to the ground. Again, using the cross hands technique, when the opponent punches, you can change the cross hands block like this. Now their arm is trapped against your body. And you can twist their fist counterclockwise. If you want, you can push his head away and guide him to the ground. This part of his arm is immobilized by your hold. Put your knee into his shoulder. If you put enough pressure on his arm, it will break. When the opponent punches you with his right, sidestep to your left and you will cross behind with your right as you parry the punch. Your opponent's entire side is left open allowing you to counter. Hit him with a palm attack as you continue moving to the left. Your opponent will react by doubling over. At this point, you will sweep his back leg with your right leg. Make sure your sweep is low or it will not be effective. A hit to the knee will not knock him down, so sweep low. Then the whole body will collapse to the ground. It is a simultaneous impact of the palm strike to the body and the sweep to the leg that will send your opponent to the ground. Using the same footwork as Punch Counterattack 7, hit your opponent with the palm strike to the body and then bring your hand up into the upward ridge hand to the chest as you continue advancing forward. By hitting your opponent in the stomach first, you double him over. When you hit him in the chest, you knock him back.
Now we will apply the same type of movement to an opponent with their right leg forward and punching. You move the same as punch counter attack 6, giving him a palm attack to the body. Only this time you hook their front leg with your right leg. As you pull their leg out, push the small of their back forward with your left as you pull back your right palm. This takes him to the ground. Now we'll do it again a little faster. If your opponent punches you with their right, catch their arm with a double block at the wrist and behind the elbow. Roll your arms and press down. This will take him to the ground. If your opponent punches with his left, you can do a double block like this to break his arm. You can also move towards his back leg as you turn a double block into an arm bar. Now add a leg sweep and your opponent will find himself on the ground. Once they're on the ground, you can control them with an arm bar like this. Here is a technique to counter the classic sleeper hold. First, tense up the muscles in your neck to protect yourself. Reach up and clamp your hands on top of your opponent's elbows like this. With your right hand, press down to relieve the pressure off your neck while you push their elbow up with your left hand. Once their arms are separated, Turn your body clockwise. At this point, push your opponent's elbow up with your left hand while you simultaneously pull his elbow back with your right. Pivot your right foot and sweep out his leg with your left. Now your opponent is on the ground. This is an easy technique to do. It all depends on whether you can push up and down simultaneously. 
If you can do that, then once you turn, it's all over. Don't let your opponent get too close, because then they have more leverage, which is bad for you. Here is another counter to the sleeper hold. The beginning is the same as choke counter one. But once you reach this point, ignore the bottom arm and move both hands to the top to apply an arm bar. Take a step back as you apply pressure down and take your opponent to the ground. This technique is also very easy to do. Once you switch hands, you must be precise with your movement. To control your opponent, apply pressure in opposite directions. One hand pushing forward, one hand back. Again, you can push your knee on top of them for extra control. Another technique against the sleeper uses the same initial escape as choke counter one. Once you turn your body, to this point, slide your hand down their arm and get a good grip on each of your opponent's arms and cross his arms across his body. Continue applying pressure until your opponent is on the ground. Switch your hands and apply an arm bar on your opponent using his own arm, pushing one arm forward while pushing the other back. Make sure their bent arm is underneath the elbow of their straight arm. One important thing to note is when you get here, swing his arm across the body. The leverage of this move will take your opponent down. From a sleeper hold, you can also throw your opponent. First, press down on your opponent's elbow as you take a step back with your left leg. Bending forward with your body, use your hip to throw your opponent to the ground. From here, straighten your opponent's arm and apply pressure to the joint. To make sure you don't lose their arm, roll it between your hands until you can apply pressure.
When someone tries to tackle you and grabs you around the waist, move back as you push his shoulders down until his arms drop down to your knees. When he tries to lift you off your feet, push down on his shoulders as you jump back onto your knees. His hands will now be trapped by your legs. He cannot escape while your hands are free to do whatever you want. Make sure when you jump back that you sit on his hands. When someone charges you and grabs you by the waist, step back and grab your opponent's head by the ears. Not like this, but like this. Now rotate his head upward as you turn your body and you will throw your opponent off of you. The key to this technique is turning the head so make sure you move both hands at once. Against the same rushing technique, step back as he grabs your waist, then grab his body instead of his head. Grab the body on both sides. As you step back, turn your body and waist as you guide him with your hands and throw him with his own momentum. Once your opponent grabs your leg, take a step back, causing your opponent to take a step forward to stay upright. At this point, you advance forward like this to take him down and control him. When you take a step back, he follows. Now step forward and down. This will take him to the ground. Now you can pin his arms down or hit him. Another option is to apply an arm bar like this. This will prevent him from doing anything more.
Now your opponent attacks you with a right punch. You will dodge to the right and block with your left. Grab his hand and strike your opponent's neck. Using your right hand, grab the back of his neck and apply pressure with your fingers. At the same time, you advance left and turn your body, sweeping out your opponent's back leg. The key elements to this technique are the grab, the turning of your waist, and the moving and turning at the same time. When attacked with a right punch, step right and grab with both hands like this. Push his arm down, twist and pull back. Now use both hands to pull his fist down until he falls. With one sudden jerk, your opponent will fall to the ground. Your opponent strikes you with a right punch. Move right and block his punch with your left hand. While my right hand strikes him in the neck. Then rotate him down and clockwise using his arm and neck as control points. From here, move your hand to his chin and push up while you move his arm behind his back. Your opponent's body will want to go down, so assist him with a little push, and he's on the ground. So move your arms like this.